from Scrap and Abby and a little bit different of a view for you ladies today. I'll do my best to hold my camera still. So these are two beautiful wedding dresses that you're looking at. And before anybody asks, no, I'm not getting remarried. I am happily married, thank you. I bought these with the intent of um, cutting these apart and using them in my crafting and, and giving away parts of it and rocking some to my crafty friends and things like that. So I was so excited when I found these dresses, $25 for both. I could not believe it. So this one on the right was the very first one that I saw in the listing. It was on the Facebook Marketplace, and I want to thank Kateri um, for telling me about that because I didn't realize what that was on Facebook. And I'll be sure to leave a link to Kateri's YouTube channel in the description box below because she also get some great laces and different blouses and things like that that you can cut apart for your crafting purposes. So thanks so much Kateri because I was able to get these two beautiful dresses. So the one here on the right was the very first one as I mentioned and then I had thanked the lady when I um you know her husband had met me in a public place public uh, place and then we you know I gave him the money for it and then when I got home um, she had sent a message and, and said thank you for buying the dress and she goes I hope you can get the stains out and I explained to her that I wasn't going to be wearing this this was for crafting she goes oh okay and then about 20 minutes later she messaged me and said hey I have another one she goes if you would like it and I was like oh sure and so I went and picked it up the uh, very next day and it was this one here and I didn't I did not know what this one looked like because it was no pictures listed of it and it was in kind of a solid um, kind of pink uh, garment bag and this thing is huge this is the train down here this whole big pile this thing is very heavy I was like so excited when I got this home and this one wasn't even very uh, dirty at all really just I washed it because it kind of smelled like it maybe hanging in a closet or something and but there were no stains no tears no rips no nothing on either one of these dresses except for the bottom of this one this one did have some stains on me that's we take that back this one had a lot of stains on it Almost to the point to where I was going to just chuck it, like just cut the top part off and throw the rest away because it was so gross. And it must have been from an outdoor wedding because there was like all kinds of dirt, grass stains. I mean, I'm talking dirt like as black as my hair. It was like dark brown state, dirty brown black stains. And then there was like food stains. And then up here, um, kind of from starting from this part down to here, there was like some, um, there were several red wine stains. I'm assuming it was wine. And um, so what I did is I just washed both of them individually um, in my washing machine. It is a large capacity, so if you're going to do this on your own, make sure you have a large enough washing machine to um, be able to wash something this large. And um, I washed them on cold, and I used tons and tons of shout, especially on this one here, because it had so many stains. And you can, I wish I would have remembered to take in some pictures of it before, but I was just so grossed out. I had gloves on, and <laughs> I had plastic bags laid all over my uh, tile floor by my laundry room, and... It just grossed me out because I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I'm kind of like, I can't believe somebody who has OCD like myself would actually be doing this. But I really wanted it because of all the different appliques and beading and the material. It's just a gorgeous dress. And of course, I'll zoom in a little bit. I kind of want to give you an overview first and then I'll kind of go a little bit closer. So these are the two dresses. Um, again, both for $25. And I'm going to pan over slowly to my dining room table here. I wanted to show you the, the pile. This right here. This is all of, this is the crittlin for both dresses and then um, all the busy netting and things that are kind of underneath. I got part of a veil. So I got this huge pile of all of that stuff, which I washed as well. I had to cut a lot of this away because some of this crinoline was so filthy from being um, underneath this dress that I just cut a lot of it away, threw it away. Didn't even want to attempt to wash it. I didn't care um, because there's a lot there, as you can see. It's a huge pile of that. So... I did that and then I kind of cut it away so I could really get this dress really clean. But these are just beautiful dresses. I mean, here's the first one. I mean, it was so funny because, um, you know, I met the husband, not the wife, because I, I, clearly I'm not a size 8. <laughs> That's what size this dress is. And I didn't tell her what I was going to do with it because, you know, they don't, they don't ask and it's not really any of their business or anything and it was priced so cheap but I was afraid if I told her I was going to cut it up that she wouldn't sell it to me because <laughs> you know, I, I didn't I thought maybe this was her wedding dress or something but it was an older couple um but anyway so I'm not sure where they found these but this just look at all this beautiful beautiful look at these little flowers right here and the beautiful appliques and just so gorgeous and this all came out so nicely when I washed it I almost said my dishwasher in my washing machine. But I did come across um, some other YouTube channels of ladies who did wash their actual wedding dresses that they intended to keep 
in their um, washing machine and it came out perfect for them. So um, I didn't do that with mine. I had mine professionally clean because it, I never would have ever imagined or dreamed of washing my wedding dress like that. But here are the straps. They got the little uh, flowers and some sequins and little glass bead or I'm not sure if they're glass or plastic. I can't, probably plastic I'm guessing. And then this is the back of the dress. And just look at all of that beautiful, beautiful applique work. And the beads, the little seed beads, and I just love that. It's just so cool. Very, very pretty. And the back of the straps also have the same flowers. It's kind of hard to do one-handed, so I'm going to do my best <clears throat> without uh, making you ladies too sick. Let me get down here on the floor so I can show you. So this is basically the front of the dress. And I will flip them around in a moment so I can show you the back side. But, yeah, I'm just so surprised that all those things came out. I just thought for sure I was going to have to cut around them. Now, here's a perfect example right down here. You see that little spot right there? That's all you can see right now. I, I'm not even exaggerating. This is like so. Here's a better spot, actually. Because I, remember I mentioned there was a few spots I could not get out. So you see the dark spots down there? That, the, that was the entire bottom perimeter of all of this. And I got all of it out except for a few spots here and there. So I am very, very pleased about that. So this is like, that little section is like nothing compared to all the material that I have on this one. So that is the first dress up close, or as close as I can get it. Now we'll push it over and move on to the second one. This one by far is my favorite because it has so much, um, so many appliques. I mean, look at all that shimmery, the sequins, and just beautiful. So this looks like, it, this reminds me of like an 80s dress because of the puffy sleeves and the arms. It looks like one of my sister's wedding dresses kind of, but you know, I could be wrong. Man, I would have uh, boiled up hot if I would have had that kind for mine. I have a, I had a strapless dress like the first one. It was really, really hot the day we got married back in Oregon. So, and this is the back side. All this beautiful, beautiful satin and this whole big pile of the train. And I want to point something out when we get to the back side. Let me get back up here. Try not to step on it, and we'll get a little bit closer view of the top of the dress here. <clears throat> so here's one of the puffy sleeves. I mean, just look at all the appliques that are on this. I mean, it's just so many. So beautiful. So, so pretty. Lots of them. And then this here, this is like the, a lacy front on top right there. <clears throat> just really, really pretty. I couldn't even imagine wearing something with this much. I would feel like I was suffocating. I'm naturally a hot-blooded person anyway, but now that we live in Florida, it, ugh. Just, there's just no way I could wear something like that. I'll take that body, that waist size, though. <laughs> and then here's the other sleeve over here. So there's lots of, you know, um, it's more of that uh, kind of a tooly, crinoline batting type of stuff, whatever you want to call it up in here so I'll be sure to kind of clear that part out too but look at oops sorry got the hanger in the way the other dress look at the sleeves there's just so much detail on that and then the bodice it kind of scoops down as you can see to get this arm out of the way see how it kind of goes down let me get a better position here sorry ladies I'm trying my best to show this to you <clears throat> I was gonna do it when my daughter was here but I need to get this done while the lights are still good so you can see how it kind of scoops down onto the bottom part of the dress that is so cool look at that just that one piece, and there's so many of them. Oh, and then this, too, is really cool. This The um, satin cover buttons. I thought that was really pretty. So that was really nice. And then I'm going to flip this around and show you the back while I'm standing here. So the back is that sheer netting again. And then this has the satin buttons all the way down the back of the dress, down to the waist. But there's just so many appliques on here. I can't even begin to count how many. And I'm going to have a very daunting task set up for myself to cut on these and get them cut down. So, But that'll be okay. There's no rush for me to get this project done. <clears throat> this is actually kind of the perfect thing for me to do when I'm not feeling so hot due to my facial pain and I'm just laying in bed or something. I can cut these into smaller pieces or it's a bit more manageable for me to do, of course. All right, so I'm going to turn the camera off for a second. And I'm going to get the trains all straightened out and splayed out so you can see how big they are. And I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, ladies, here is the train for the first dress. I'm going to have to do them individually because um, of the size of the second one. I'm going to zoom in so I, you guys don't have to hear me panting and puffing as I'm getting up off the floor. 
but just look at all of the sequins on that train. This is really pretty. I love that scallopy edge like that. I think that's really, really pretty. That is something that would have appealed to me when I was, um, oh, look who's here. Hi, Bella. What are you doing? What are you doing? You come see what Mama's up to? Huh? What are you doing? So, um, this is just really, really pretty, though. Look at that. All of those appliques and all of this really nice satin that's um, in between. We kind of zoom in again on the back side. And there we go. So there's that dress. And then I'll be back to show you the other one in just a moment. And here is the train for the second dress. This is really, really beautiful, too. I really like this one, too. That's really, really nice. And how many times can I say really <laughs> in like a minute? <clears throat> so just really pretty there. And then I just have it kind of, it comes out a little bit more on the each side, but you know, you wouldn't be able to see it because um, I can't get all that in frame. But down here on the bottom, I didn't notice this until I was actually taking it back out of the bag because I washed them and let them hang dry. <clears throat> I forgot to mention that earlier, but I was hoping that, you know, you ladies would know not to dry them, I guess. And um, I had them put in a bag when my friend Cindy came because I didn't want to mess with them while she was here. And then um, when I was um, taking them out of the bag, I was like, what is that hard thing on the bottom of this uh, train? And somebody added this um, after they bought the dress. So the bride's new last name must have started with a C. So they put that on the back side. And you, when you get closer to it, like hold it in your hand and look at it, you can tell that it's been added afterwards, either by the bride's family or, um, I don't know, maybe they had the bridal shop do I don't know. But um, you can definitely tell that that's put put on after the dress was made. Because, I mean, it, unless, I've never seen a wedding dress where you, as an option, where you could get your initial, but maybe you can. I don't know. So anyway, so I thought that was kind of cool. Because um, I'm going to zoom in. Actually, make it down a little bit closer. Let me try it this way. I hope I'm not making you too sick by going in and out. And let's look at all the pearls that are in there. Really, really nice. And... Yeah, somebody glued this. I can't imagine an actual bridal shop doing something like that to the to dress. I mean, they wouldn't just, like, glue it like that. So, but I don't care about that, because like I said, I'm not going to wear it. I'm just going to be cutting this apart to use for crafting and to share with my friends. So, because I certainly don't need all of this myself. And anyway, so this is just really, really beautiful. I love it. So pretty. So many different um, types of appliques. A lot of them aren't even the same. I mean, look at how huge this section is right here. Just that piece right there. So beautiful. And this piece right here in the middle, this will be absolutely gorgeous. Like as um, even stretched on a canvas or something or, you know, with a really cool old shabby that frame around it or something just for decor. I mean, you don't have to put anything even on it. Maybe a simple photo, maybe um, a cluster of flowers or something, you know, just make it really, really simple. So you don't always have to cut these apart and use them in little tiny pieces. But these are like little paisley shapes, is what I'm going to call it. But there's all of these all throughout the whole train. And there are, <clears throat> hope the lighting's okay. The Florida sun has gone behind the clouds a little bit this afternoon. Let me get a little bit closer on this one so I can kind of show you the detail. Yeah. See the sequins in there? I love this um, mesh like that where you can see through that little thing. That's really pretty. I like that. Just a really nice, really nice dress. I mean, look at all these little individual appliques right here. You know, I can cut out and all that kind of stuff. So just really, really pretty. So I am thrilled about my $25 fine for these two gorgeous wedding dresses. Not to mention, and I'll show you again, because um, I don't really want to unfold them and fold them again. But this is like all the crinoline from both dresses and part of a veil from which ones I don't know, but, um, and some of this I cut out because it was, it was um, a lot easier for me to cut that out to wash it than to leave it in the dress because I did have to cut so much of it away and throw away from that first dress because it was just so filthy. So anyway, so I just want to share this with you ladies and I'm going to slowly work on getting these cut apart. Again, this is not like it's some urgent priority for me. This is just kind of like a side project that I can work on in between design team projects and samples, my own crafty projects, and commission projects. So just wanted to share this with you because I'm going to be going ahead and putting these back in the bags for now 
and then on a different day I'll go ahead and start kind of cutting these apart carefully and you know getting the pieces put um you know in my craft room storage and off to the side for some friends so I will see you ladies next time happy crafting happy planning and happy scrapping oh before I forget if any of you ladies that are watching this video or gentlemen have cut apart wedding dresses before um, if you have any tips or techniques on how to do that um, recommendations I would really appreciate that I've never done this before I can't imagine it being too difficult I mean you know it's cutting out appliques and pieces of fabric away but I've never done it so I don't want to just assume that there's not any you know little tip or hint or anything like that so I am would really appreciate if anybody had any suggestions on that and I will definitely read them and apply them so thanks so much ladies and gentlemen I will see you next time bye